welcome back guys so in my previous video we were able to connect between server and the client but i forgot a minute detail uh, this uh, was supposed to be sent message i will check it after uh, i entered my video so i guess that should work now now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to establish connection between two clients so for that uh, first we'll head to our uh, server.py and we'll create something called broadcast message what we are doing is we are creating an IRC chat application where we'll be able to send message between clients and this server is basically for one group let's say that's it's like a whatsapp group people can send receive message etc so uh, we'll create a function called broadcast message so broadcast message and this will uh, take in our client the mess client at our message so we will take our message and then our connection now what we are going to do we are basically uh, uh, we will have a list called clients list and we are basically uh, checking the clients list to check the connection and client list match clients client and the client list match if it matches we are not sending him to sending the message to him because that client would be our sender and the rest all would be the receiver so uh, before i forget let me just create our list so client list as a blank list right uh, so that's done now uh, we will say for client in a client list now we are going to use an if to check uh, if the client is same as connection so we, if it is same we should not send right so basically we will say client not equal to client uh, connection then send the message so we will say client not equal to connection connection then send the message so basically client dot send uh, our message but before that uh, we will uh, we will do a try accept method because we'll try sending it and if there are there can be a case where the client has already exit exited by the time we are trying to send it so if that possible situation occurs we want that client to be removed from our client list so we will try sending it so try uh, client dot uh, client dot sent our message and it should be encoded in our format so we'll try it if that if that doesn't happen we will remove it from our client list so we will call a function called remove client and we'll pass in our client so let's just define our uh, function remove client uh, remove client it will take in a client so basically we are just removing it so if client then client list then remove it from the client list so we since this is just a list we just have to say remove client so basically now our functions has been defined and now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to call our broadcast message in the incoming connection so what we are going to say is uh, once we receive receive the message uh, broadcast the message so we will say uh, broadcast message we have to pass in our message uh, we will define message in a second and our connection so that will be con okay now what we want is that message to contain the id or the address of our uh, client whom we are s who is sending it so uh, we will make it username in a second so but for now we will just say uh, address so 
this should contain the address. This should be an S string. Uh, str address. This is no need of string. And then our message. So just close this. What is our message? So it is msg. So we are sending that uh, to the other clients. Now uh, there is one more thing we have to do that is basically uh, uh, what do you say uh, in main we have to add our connection uh, to our client list. So we only have to do is uh, say client list dot append connection. So that's it that's uh, basically our server part. Now what you have to do in client is that uh, we have to receive this message and uh, we will uh, we, there are two methods of doing this uh, basically uh, what what uh, the other people or most people have seen do is uh, once we send the message they will wait for people to or uh, other people to send it once they send the message and we will have to send another message to receive the uh, another coming message. But uh, I found that method useless. I mean, w what if the people was in keep on sending message? We we can't read those messages unless we uh, send a message. So uh, what we are gonna do is uh, in uh, client main uh, while connected, we are gonna say uh, try. We are gonna make this a try except block. So try sending this. So uh, we'll try sending this, and then uh, if an uh, keyboard interrupt that is Control C, then we'll break. So if keyboard interrupt, then connected uh, is equal to false and break. Now we will uh, define a function called message check basically we will keep on checking for messages unless this user wants to send a message so I uh, call this message tech and we will define that function over here uh, define message check okay so what we basically are doing is that uh, we are going to keep on trying to check for any new messages so we will create a while loop so while true Uh, we will keep on uh, checking for message. So we want uh, the only way the user can enter a message is if we press Control C. Uh, this is the only way I found uh, we can do this. If you guys found any better method, please do uh, comment it in the comment box. I'll read it out and I'll remake this video if possible. So for now, I'll just take in any message that's coming from our server side. That is broadcast message. So client receive two zero four eight. And this is just a header number. This is no message. We are, uh, we are not expecting any message bigger than this. That's what we are basically saying, and we want to decode it in our format. That is UTF eight. And now we just have to print it out. Print message. Uh, now we will make this message look better, uh, but for now we'll just uh, see if this works. So accept uh, keyboard interrupt, then break. So we'll break from this uh, loop. We'll stop the message check function and go back to our uh, uh, connected method. So it will try. It will ask for a message. So that's basically it, and uh, it should work. So let's try it out. So I'll say Python three server so Okay, now uh, I started listening. So I'll create two terminals. I'll op open it side by side. Python three client dot Connection established. As you can see, Python three 
client.py okay so now we have two connections so i'll say hi so he has sent the message and for here i'll say hello now uh, we have received a message from 192.168.1 hi now let's say uh, he wants to receive this message or uh, he wants to send a message so i just have to say com control c or uh, com command c uh, control c both in mac and pc so it's asking for a message so i'll say crest over here and you can see he is always listening so this part of our this client is always listening let's add one more client uh, bring this down we also will make our python tree client.py and as you can see our connection established message came basically this a new person has joined with a different id and he has established a connection to the server we can make this this user has joined and, and i think that looks better anyway so since both of them for both of them listening i'll say hi how are you okay uh he's also listening so i have to make control c then say how are you right, again since i want to send a message i have to click control c and i'll say uh are you guys listening so uh again he will go back to receiving listening mode and uh i think we can print a message saying uh listening uh here somewhere anyways uh from here i'll send now i am listening how are you okay so now he got i'm listening how are you so basically that means this uh, function works so keyboard him trapped and if i say disconnect okay so basically uh, he's disconnected that means has disconnect uh, he has disconnected this person has disconnected uh, for him also i'll disconnect now right how disconnect and uh, him also disconnect okay uh, now uh, let's make our app uh, we'll make our application a little more beautiful in the next part of the video but uh, for now we will add the option to create a username uh, just a username option so here i'll say a uh, user name input enter a user name we are not asking for password or anything yet that we can do it in the next video but this is basically just a username for this people to identify rather than having a 192.168.5 send the message i mean i don't think i can remember that <laughs> so uh, we'll have that so here in send message what we're going to do is basically we're going to say uh, our message uh, message is msg is equal to username username and then we'll create uh, something for that this our uh, username and message can be split and uh, using this method uh, we'll use split using a uh, double colon and then our message so that's it from our client part there's nothing else to do and uh, in our server part uh, all we have to do is uh, uh, go to our uh, while connected we receive message so once we receive our message uh, we are going to decode it basically we are going to split it so msg list uh, we're going to say message dot split based on the blocks so split based on so you will get our username and our message and we'll say our uh -huh, username and our message is msg list of zero and msg list of one so first part will be our username second part will be our message now uh we are checking if message is disconnect otherwise this would be username then our message so basically that's it 
uh, we will be sending or broadcasting our username so let's just check it out I will close this connection so clear it out and let's see if there is any uh, if our port is still running uh, it's not running so you can call it so let's call our clients okay uh, enter username so I'll say Krishna uh, so here I send a message uh, here I'll say uh, Abdul and here I'll say Vivek so Krishna is sending hi so we are having Abdul connection received uh, is it recording? Yes, recording. Uh, then uh, Abdul is sending hello. So Abdul said hello. And here we make a statistic connection. And say hi, people. How are you guys? Oh, since I want to send a message, I have to click Control C. So I say, how are you guys? So basically, our client has established connection. We were using. How are you guys? So all that's done. So I say disconnect. And here, I will use Control C to disconnect. See, it's done. It's working. So all this three has disconnected. Uh, now, uh, what we are going to do is, instead of sending a message first, we will check for connections. Uh, we will check for messages. So, we, we want to do that because uh, some people might not want to send messages for some people might have just joined the group and trying to listen to the conversation. So, that's why we are basically listening to a message. But we will say something uh, saying, uh, we will say, uh, print you to type a message, okay, to send a message, to send a uh, message. Press Control C and uh, in message we will say uh, okay. I think that's good enough right now. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, something called the colors so for the colors for our uh, uses. The terminals will have different types of colors. I'll show you what I mean. So. Just Okay, uh, so we will create colors. So now let's create it um, before everything. Okay, so what we are gonna have is uh, different types of colors. Okay, so we'll have blue, green, yellow, red, bold, and our end color type. So we'll say color codes. So, OK blue will be a blue. Then we will have OK green, OK red. So, for all, we have slash 0, 3, 3. This is always the beginning. And uh, 95, uh, 94 M. This is our blue color. Now, for green, it is 92. Yellow, it is 93. So, I just copy, paste, paste then we have a bold it is one and then we have to end so there are five so okay yellow yellow is 93 okay green green is 92 and then we have bold so bold so bold basically means bold letters and it is one so this and then we have end so we have to end our characters so this is gonna be a uh, zero zero is the last one so this means end so zero m 
now save it so for each message we will say if we receive message uh, let's receive it in uh, blue so I'll say okay blue plus uh, we'll end it and see uh, connection established okay we want red also and red basically is 91 m so we'll say okay red 91 so message is connect uh, disconnect message uh, no under input uh, we'll have that in blue so no we'll have that in green okay green and and see this too we'll have it in red so, okay red We have to end it because otherwise uh, it will always go. And we will we want this to be bold. We want this to be bold also. So it's bold. Same here. So I'll just copy this. Uh, okay. Uh, this is sending message. So that's not needed. Uh, then uh, any other message printing out. Okay. End the username. Uh, we'll have end the username with. yellow so okay uh, yellow and we'll close it and see <sighs> so I'll close our server here uh, so not see well, that's nothing okay so here we'll start our client uh, because uh, this already green so you won't be able to notice the colors properly but uh, here we'll be able to see properly so something like that so we will have one more person so i have him so clear we'll start our server python 3 server.py server has started listening uh so start from here uh i'll reduce the size of this one so Okay, uh, that's how I have started listening. Uh, here I'll start our client. So Python 3 client.py. So as you can see, the color has changed. Now it's asking for me to enter username. So it's Crystal. So okay, to send a message, press Ctrl C. We'll receive that message. So basically, we are right, right now we are listening. So Python three line dot py. Uh, sorry, this this folder. Python three. Uh, client. So username I'll say. Uh, let's make it a game. The girl so Jolly. So Jolly has established connection. So you can see here connection established from Jolly. And to send a message, press Ctrl C. And asking me to send a message. So I'll say hi. So Jolly said hi. As you can see, it's green. Uh, this is already green. That's why we are not able to identify it clearly. But it will be green. CMSG. I think uh, uh, we, we will have a slash in after that. Print slash in. Okay, uh, I'll close this connection. So I'll just say disconnect for now. Disconnect. Uh, I'll say hi. Jolie has disconnected. Uh, so basically, a uh, client says Jolly. I uh, send a message. So if I press Ctrl C now, oh, it's in another line, so we'll be able to see this properly. 
so hello how are you so basically we have done our client server message communication so in the next part basically what we'll be doing is that we will be saving our username the, his password details everything into a file using pickle why we are doing this is because we want uh, a person to uh, register before he joins and once registered uh, he doesn't need to re-register every time because we want uh, a user account to be there basically right now we are saying a random username so that uh, is not necessary basically this itself is a complete layout that one just is just an additional functionality that I'm adding so I hope you guys liked the video if you did uh, click the subscribe button give me a like that's it. Thank you guys for watching.